Hi there. Wanted to try and uh, wanted to share with you this uh, attempt I have at trying to cycle record in uh, Aria Pro uh, MIDI. That is cycle record MIDI. That's not something you can do in Aria Pro, by the way. And it's uh, bugged me quite a bit for a while. So here's a, a little kind of a workaround I came up with. I don't know if you'll if you'll find it as helpful or not. It's a little fidgety, but you uh, of course create your Oops, sorry. Create your uh, MIDI MIDI track. Go into the effects. What you want to do is you want to put Audio Vix Atom uh, Piano Roll Recorder and Editor in the instrument slot. You have to do this because the this has to be uh, active and in the forefront in order for you to hear it. Uh, while you're in a cycle record. So you do that. Now, I don't know how this works. You can't use that instrument slot, obviously, for an instrument. You're going to have to use the uh, channel strip, which is fine in this case for me because I use um, audio layer as uh, my sound module. And this is particularly for drums for me. So, uh, got audio layer going here. Let me get, uh, let me, oh, let me bring in a drum kit. Okay. So here you, on this, on this effects panel, audio veek and the instrument, the, the synth or sound module of your choice over here in the channel strip area. All these other settings can stay the same. Uh, there are cases where you may want to change those. I'll, I'll probably show you that in a minute. So we've got that going. We can close this. Now if we open the piano and MIDI activate the channel, don't forget that, we are able to use only the piano part of Aurea to drive MIDI input. I haven't figured out a way to use something else yet. So it's a little awkward because you just don't have a choice if you wanted to use uh, pads from uh, from uh, that other MIDI program or, or Velocity keyboard. I, ca I can't make that work yet. Probably have to use a separate channel. But this works. So right now you want to bring Add them to the front, to the foreground. You can do this stepwise, but we're going to use loop record since that's kind of the point. Now what you do with the timeline isn't really important because we're not even recording to the timeline, but we do have to activate play. So for simplicity, uh, at this point I like to set it up with, um, with all this business here. Loop, auto punch, auto scroll, metronome count in and auto return this keeps it from just running away because if you as much time as you spend in play coming up with your overdubs and editing and putting together your beat the timeline's just going to take off uh, behind you so you can just you know you don't have to but you can forego that by just putting it in a loop mode it won't have any effect here although the two do do affect each other if you loop s shorter than the input uh, than the atom loop section you'll have trouble so that's the only thing you need to kind of worry about there. So let's get to uh, trying to put down a little simple something here. I'm a very bad keyboard inputter. I prefer using uh, pads the uh, and velocity keyboard. but uh, And this also has some oddities. If you put it too close to the bottom, it doesn't work. And... Uh, when you want a, a hard strike, that's the highest velocity area, and it doesn't do anything if you're right down there close. So you got to bring it up from the bottom, and be careful. Okay, I'm in a quarter note uh, grid here. So if I put this in record, this will just do this indefinitely because um, I'd like to make this 
go away. Okay. Because uh, this, we're, we're really now concentrating on Adam. We're going to input the, the, the notes into Adam. So uh, I'm going to shorten this a little bit for my own because I'm really not going to, not, I don't like this keyboard. So as you see, we put together a little beat there in cycle record, which is a little more convenient than, than not. So now you can edit, of course, while you're here in uh, Adam, which has, has a very easy to use editor. Unlike Aria Pro. And, uh, or if you, when you get it the way you want it, then you can send it to the timeline and uh, an easy way to do this is to have your auto punch match the length of the segment that you just recorded and have, of course, your auto punch region in the proper area. And since we have nothing here, we're going to start at the beginning. So when I put this in record, it will count for record. It'll continue because that's what it always does, no matter if it's in loop or not. Once it's in record, it never loops. Um, and it'll just record what we just did to the timeline, theoretically. Let's see what happens. There it is. Now, another little fiddle-dee-diddly fiddle is that uh, to play this back without uh, doubling you're going to get some uh, phasing and flanging because you're going to hear the audio V piano roll in the background. You can just go to, you can just go to audio. You can either erase it or you can just go to audio V or go to effects rather and just change the uh, channel, put it on two. And now you'll only hear the timeline. And if I take this out, there won't be anything going on. See? Now, to me, this is a big plus, because I just can't deal otherwise. So, that's that. Uh, once again, I'll just try to show you real quick. It's simple, just not intuitive. Put the uh, put Audio V Piano Roll Editor in the instrument slot. Put your sound unit in the channel strip. So far, as far as I know, you have to use the keyboard. What's nice is in, um, I think, what is it, Music Studio? Um, oh, God, I can't remember the name of it. Really nice uh, other program. You can you can put a, a unit, an, an AU, in this device area, which would be awesome. Just a note, you know, to the ARIA person, because I think it's only one person that uh, that would be cool too because if you could put uh, a velocity keyboard in here or uh, you know the, the keyboard of your choice kb1 or something that would really be nice and you'd have all those uh, features to be able to use and it would make aria pro a little better for creating aria pro is fantastic for 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 uh, uh, post-production just i don't really think it's very conducive for creation um and that's it that's all I have to say about that. I hope this helps someone. And uh, I'll see you next time. Like and subscribe, I guess. Doesn't hurt to get popular. Thank you.